Welcome, Ben Lemmer. Hello everybody, Kieran A.K. The Nerd here and uh, I've got a hardware review for you this week and this is something um, pretty cool in fact and uh, a bit of a step away from the norm and if you follow me on social media it's um, at RetroLaird on Twitter um, you would have seen that this was one of my Christmas presents this year so I'm sure you're expecting it to pop up on my channel at some point and uh, here it is, and a lot of people have been asking me to um, to do this after seeing me post the photo, and we're eagerly um, anticipating it. So um, I'm glad I can finally um, be of service with this one. And uh, yes, it's the Atari Mini Pong, um, or Mini Arcade, even. It includes 12 classic games, and it's produced by Blaze in the UK, aka Funstock. And... Uh, I don't really do unboxings, but I've got the box here because I want to show you that. So um, we'll take a look at that first. I'll just move the little machine out of the way for a minute. And uh, so on the sides there, we, I love the classic, you know, wood grain design. And um, it shows you all the games that it includes. I think the other side's the same. Yes, it is. And on the back, you'll see it tells you a little bit about it. Unique pedal control scheme. Features 12 classic games, two player action, full color, 2.8 inch screen. Powered by four AA batteries or micro USB cable, so that's good. Uh, volume control and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And uh, let's have a look at the games there. So we have Pong, Warlords, Breakout, Steeplechase, Circus Atari, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Street Racer, Super Breakout, Canyon Bomber. Video Olympics and Demons to Diamonds. Now, there's a couple of interesting things about this game's lineup worth pointing out. Obviously, it's all Atari games. Uh, I had quite a few people on social media asking, like, if it had Kaboom on it, for example. No, because that's an Activision game. So it's a shame. That's that's one thing they probably could have done, which I'll go into. But um, yeah, it is strictly Atari games. Now, first of all, Pong, which they've put as a separate game, it's kind of like a homebrew version of Pong. Um, I'm not really sure why they put it on there because it's completely pointless given that you have Video Olympics on here um, which includes Pong and indeed the uh, Sears version of Video Olympics was actually called Pong Sports so that tells you everything um, so yeah that, that's completely pointless and as you'll find out that version of Pong is actually um, vastly inferior to the version on Video Olympics as well so uh, I'm really not sure why they put it there it's completely pointless uh, another couple of cool things to point out is Canyon Bomber strictly isn't a paddle game, but because it only uses a one-button control, um, they kind of put it on here. I thought it was a cool inclusion. And uh, the other thing to mention is Off the Wall, although it's a kind of um, Arkanoid stroke breakout clone um, from late in the 2600's life, because it was a late release, it was joystick only. So what they've done here is, is they've got some clever bod to hack it for paddle control, so they can include it on this. So I think that was absolutely brilliant because I love Off The Wall. It's a fantastic game. So let's try and show you the unit. I'm slightly dubious about how well you'll be able to see it um, on this camera. But I'm going to try and move it into a position where it's as clear as possible. At the moment, all you can see is me. That's the problem with um, these kind of screens because you just get a, a really bad reflection. So we'll boot it up. I'll see if I can get in a position where um, there's less of a reflection. So let's hang on a moment. Okay, so jump shot extraordinaire there. I've just moved it around and put it in a position where it's not um, uh, in line with my window. So therefore, you should have less light reflecting off the screen. It's now got its back to the window. So let's try that and see if that works a little bit better. Um, because I really want you to see, obviously, the screen when I start showing you... Um, through the games, but I, I really want to show you this control panel at the front. So first of all, so we have um, a player one and a player two paddle, as you can see. We have a reset button there. We have select button there and start button there. And then that one there, serve, that is only really used for, um, that's basically the fire button. So it's like 
fire basically and serve in pom but it's obviously like warlords it starts as well and things like that there's our on off button which has been made to look a bit like a um you know, the queen reject button on an arcade machine which i thought was pretty cool and i love the, the chrome on them every single one this isn't metal this is plastic um same with the, the paddles they are plastic but they are they are pretty damn cool um, it's quite heavy, I should mention as well, um, as I show you around it. It's got a bit of weight to it, which I liked. It makes it feel less cheap. And obviously that classic, um, although it's plastic, but wood grain stylings on the side there. On the back, there we have our volume up, volume down, um, headphone, and um, that's a little speaker. If you don't have headphones plugged in, obviously that's the same. And then on the back, we've got um, grips, surface on the countertop, it doesn't move too much. And our batteries go in there and obviously we have to unscrew it and obviously it's officially licensed from atari as you probably already gathered by all the branding so let's go back to that unit again and what i'm going to try and do now is get the camera in a position where it's quite focused on that screen but i still need to be able to get to the controls um, to show you so i think select goes through the menus as you can see so there we go, we've got Pong Breakout, Super Breakout, Pong Video Olympics, they called it there. Circus Atari, Demons to Diamonds, Off the Wall, Canyon Bomber, Night Driver, Street Racer, Steeplechase, Warlords, as I already pointed out. Then turning the um, paddle, circles through the games on that particular screen. Okay, that should be a little bit clearer again. I think I've got it slightly better by changing the angle of the the, um, the camera. I'm hoping my hand doesn't get in the way too much now. So we'll show you a few of the games so you can see how they come out. Actually, we should start off by Pong, shouldn't we? So we can show you and show you how um, crap that Pong is. So if we press start, that will bring it up. So there we go. So this is the... So you'll see it's like horrendously slow version of Pong. So even when it should be speeding up it doesn't it's still quite slow quite rubbish and i hate that yellow border on the outside i'd rather it all just be black and white it's like they wanted to put some color into it in some way yeah so i'm not impressed with that version of pong so we'll just reset so we've got super breakout and breakout um breakout to be fair is a bit pointless because um we have super breakout so let's go into that one it's a start button. Now you can see a reflection of me, which you really don't want to see. And there we go. So then we use a select button. We can go through the options like we would if it was a one of the 2600s. So there we go. We can select our double paddles and double balls. And then if we press start, we can press serve and the ball will come out. So you'll see that paddle movement is incredibly smooth really is absolutely perfect I'm actually very very impressed by the accuracy um, of the paddles they've got them absolutely spot on they feel really good the only problem is if you are in two player kind of sitting next to each other you are quite cramped over the device it's still pretty cool i don't want to spend forever on each game um because that would be quite pointless you don't want to see me playing games you want to find out what the um the device is like so i think i've given you a pretty good look Super breakout. I wanted to try and break out one of the extra balls. Nearly done it. And I did a great job there of nearly missing it. Right, I should break out the extra ball there. There we go. See, it's like multi ball in pinball. There we go. So that's Super Breakout. Of course, we've got um, 
Sega Satori, yeah, which is another classic. I'll just show you this very, very, very briefly. So we've got to bounce the little man on the trampoline. I've already done a really bad job of doing that. Try and hit the balloons up the top. There we go, I'm rubbish at that game. But it's a lot of fun. So we've got a uh, night driver there. I'll show you a little bit of that one. Got a couple of racing games on there. This one is really hard to see, I think, because um, I pressed the wrong button there. Come on. I'm not sure why I can't get this one to start. Oh, there we go. So we need the button to accelerate. Uh, that makes this one a little bit more awkward then. I'm fairly miserably here. It's hard trying to do it with one hand. But there we go, that's Night Driver. You get the idea. It's very hard trying to do that one hand, because if I move this hand around here to do that, you'll barely be able to see the screen. There's a couple more here to look at I want to show you. So I was talking about Canyon Bomber before. And so you can see how this one works. So obviously we're just trying to get the highest score and beat the other player. Great little fun game, especially good in two player mode that one. There's a bit of Canyon Bomber. Off the wall is, is definitely one of the ones I really want to show you. Well, I've just gone to the wrong thing because I didn't press start, I press select instead. So off the wall is more like um, Arkanoid than it is Breakout because um, you actually get power-ups. And you have that dragon who moves along the top who I always thought looked like a caterpillar. And he, um, you can destroy him if you break through the bricks. So I've got off to a really bad start there because I was trying to look at it through the camera rather than looking at actual screen, which I should have done. There's a little guy, and straight away I've messed it up again. So at the moment, all I'm doing is showing you really how to fail at a game. Come on. Oh, I'm doing really badly here, aren't I? Come on, come on. Oh, get the bomb. Going for the bomb makes me miss the ball. That's the thing with games like this. It's the risk or reward. Do you go for the power up or don't you? There we go. Let's see, we just killed Mr. Dragon at the top there. He's back again. We killed him again. Yeah, the sound effects are really annoying on this one. So there we go. That's off the wall. I've got to show you um, Warlords, I think, because that's going to be one of the main attractions of this device. Everybody loves a bit of Warlords. So here we go. Oh, there's me, yellow. 
Look at that. I just nearly killed myself. So I'm not concentrating really well. So I'm trying to look at it through the camera, which doesn't really work very well. But you get the general idea, that's Warlords. And actually, I'm going to put on Steeple Chase because it's a game that a lot of people won't have seen because it was a Sears exclusive. It was never released with an Atari label, um, as you can see there with the image. So it's kind of strange game about horse racing. So there we go. We're up to four players. And you just have to jump over the <laughs> Here we go. Very, very strange indeed. And that's that's it really. That's all there is to show you. Um, so I do kind of wish there was more games. Twelve is still pretty good. I don't think it's unreasonable for for what the device costs. I think they're about twenty five pounds, and um, I think that's not bad. Not bad value for money. Um, it's a very small little thing. It's great. I think the size and stuff of it is absolutely perfect. And, um, you know, the screen quality is fantastic. The build quality is really good. The paddles work excellent. The, um, the wood grain design and everything, the, the way they've made it try to look like the, you know, original Pong cabinet. So I'll stick one of those um, in the top right-hand corner now, actually. You can see what the original Pong cabinet looked like, and you'll see how they kind of try to blend the look of the Atari 2600 with the look of the, um, the original Pong cabinets. And I think they did... A really good job and top marks to whoever designed this device because they did a fantastic job you know it's loud um the fact that it's got the headphone socket you can power it by mains of battery you know i've got cannot fault the design or the functionality of it in any way shape or form the 12 games um some of them are good some of them not so good um i don't think there's any particularly bad ones on there the pong is probably the worst one on there actually and breakout as gay is kind of a bit pointless when you've got Super Breakout, but Video Olympics is great. Although that's only really a two-player game. Circus Atari is great. Demons of Diamonds is a good game once you figure out how to play it. You know, Off the Wall is good. Camion Bomb is good. Night Drivers, you know, that's all right. Street Race, Street Race is all right. Nothing, nothing amazing. Um, but in terms of other games, I mean, I do wish maybe they'd licensed a few more. Like it would have been great to have seen Kaboom on there. Um, Mattel. Uh, um, uh, what's it called? Astro Blast springs to mind. Um, that would have been, you know, a, a perfect game to have had on here. Um, you know, there, there are there are other paddle titles out there, but I think they're probably the two most notable ones that people maybe would have liked to have seen would have been Kaboom and um, Astro Blast. And uh, yeah, but I, I I really can't complain. And if you are an Atari fan and you're especially a fan of the um, the old paddle controls. Then I think this this is absolutely brilliant. I I, I think it's 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 a must buy at the price it costs, and perhaps someone will work out a way to hack it to add more games. Um, and if they do, that would be fantastic. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Atari Pong Mini Arcade, and uh, I'll see you all again for another video very soon. I uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.